So you got some awesome footage and it's just not quite level. Wouldn't it be great if there were some sort of guidelines or a grid in DaVinci Resolve that would help you rotate it to just the right spot so you can move on with your editing. That's what we're gonna talk today and it's coming right up. Welcome, welcome to another You Rock With Drone episode. My name is Dan. If you're new here, I do video tutorials, camera and camera gear comparison and other awesome stuff. If that's the kind of stuff you're into, consider subscribing. Today, we're gonna be talking about DaVinci Resolve and how to make your footage perfectly level. So we're gonna take a minute, like literally a minute. I'm gonna show you how to do this so you can go get on your way. Let's go. So I've got DaVinci Resolve 16.1 open and I've loaded two basic clips from my US cross country road trip last year into the timeline. So you can see very basic stuff, just the GoPro mounted to the car driving through the Arizona desert. And if you focus on just the sky, you can see that on the left hand side, there is more sky than there is on the right. So what you would normally do is just select your clip, go over to your inspector and start rotating the clip so that you can get it to just the spot where you need it to. However, that's a little bit tedious and you'll never know if you got it right exactly. So before you start blindly rotating your clip and never knowing if you really got it right, I'm gonna show you how to add a grid to your clip so you know that it's exactly 100% level. To do this, you just open the effects library, you go over to OpenFX. By the way, this is the free version of DaVinci Resolve, so you will have this available in the free and the paid version. And down here, you have the grid option. So all you gotta do is drag the grid onto your clip and there you have it. You can take away your effects library, make this a little bit larger. And then using my mouse wheel, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. And with the middle mouse button, I can pan up. And now I can clearly see that on the left hand side, there is a lot less space than there is on the right hand side between this white line and the horizon. So all I gotta do is just rotate this a teeny tiny little bit, maybe like that. Zoom out, see how that looks like, looks great. Move over to the other clip. Same story here, even a better example. You can see my horizon is just not level at all. So what we're gonna do is make sure that that clip is selected. We're gonna start rotating so that the white line is perfectly balanced between this side of the horizon and this side of the horizon. We zoom out. We are happy with this generally. Now let's get rid of our grid. Same for this clip. Let's get rid of the grid or we can also just go ahead and delete it because I'm pretty happy with that. Don't need this anymore. However, you can see at the very top here now we have our little black line because the clip is rotated. So the easiest thing to do I find is to just zoom in to this area here so I can clearly see the black and the blue and then just zoom in my clip a little bit until that goes away. You can see 1.2 is too little, 1.4 looks about right. I click here to see my entire clip, checking all the corners and that looks good. Okay, okay, I admit it, it's probably a little bit more than a minute, but still very fast, very easy to do. I hope you learned something. I definitely learned something because I didn't know this up until today and I couldn't find a YouTube video about it, so I thought I made one. Guys, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, you know, do the whole YouTube thing, would be highly appreciated. Consider subscribing if you want more stuff like this, and I will see you in the next one. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal.